space in a funk yeah. Get it how I want yeah. Get a fuck at the funk shit hey. And I'm jumping What's good everybody? I got some fucking huge news for you guys We're getting wheels tomorrow So here we've got the G right now She's outside, she's looking pretty We've got a bunch of uh, GTIs over there having a little meet. So I'm looking on Marketplace and I'm fucking scrolling through all this shit and fucking DSO7s appear out of nowhere. Some odd Hans, they're looking pristine. The picture was taken yesterday apparently when he listed them like, he listed them like 17 hours ago. I'm like one of the first people to hit them up apparently. I basically just told him, hold these for me for 24 hours. I will have cash in hand tomorrow. I will be there. I'm getting these wheels. They got continental tires on them already. So wheels and tires for like 700 bucks can't be beat. Now, I already know a bunch of you are going to be like, why the fuck are you putting reps on the G? Like you, you're against reps. I, my mind has been opened. And there's going to be a bunch of people like, why the fuck are you putting reps on the G? And I'm just going to be like, suck my balls. And don't get me wrong. She looks beautiful on the stock whites, but we're changing it up. I'm gonna get the money right now. My homie's coming through to pay me what he owes me. That's right, boy, I'll chop a while here. There's not much more to be said about this. Let's just get right into it. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm so fucking hype. You guys, it's finally time. The wheels are here. My heart is pumping out of my chest. I got some odd Han DS07. They are so clean. I'm so excited. I had the guy drive an hour and a half out here. I had to pay him a little bit extra, but it's completely worth it to get them early. I'm just so pumped. He's about 15 minutes out right now. I'm literally shaking. I can't, I can't even wait. Next time you see me, I will have wheels. All right, guys, look at these. She already know I couldn't wait. We already threw one on the G. <laughs> so we put one on the G just to see how it looks. And oh my God, y'all, these are Fucking beautiful. I'm gonna slam it tomorrow again. You already know this is way too much ride height. Look at this, my boy. She Guys, we're here with the G. It is the next day. Uh, I spent all last night putting the wheels on, but I didn't have lugs that fit it because I haven't had wheels on the G yet. So I just ran to AutoZone today and grabbed some lugs, put them on. And everything was going good, except this happened. Last wheel, last lug, stripped. So that's some bullshit. I tried going down to a smaller size. It, it just doesn't work. What I did is I called AAA because I have AAA. Shout out AAA. They're coming through. They're going to take the stripped bolt off for me, and that's it. But as of right now, I mean, I'm so hype about these wheels. Like... I mean, the wheels are looking perfect on the car. The car's looking perfect. I'm loving everything. Um, it's just, it's just fucking beautiful. Except for, except for this. I just want to talk about the giveaway. Uh, I am still giving away three Gore Club hats uh, to subscribers that have subscribed. So three of you guys are going to be getting Gore Club hats. The Gore Club hats will be going on the site soon. Also an update on shipping Gore Club orders for everybody that's bought stuff on the site. Banners are gonna be going out priority. Everybody that ordered a banner, those orders are gonna be going out first and then so on. That's hard to see on this side because uh, I have it raised up a little bit right now. But fitment was kind of a bitch to get. So I'm still spaced two inches in the front. These are 18 by 8.5s. These are DSO7s by the way. And about these wheels, in the rear were spaced one inch and the fitment is Please excuse where I was rubbing before we gotta get this painted. We'll take care of this when we paint it. But, um, real nice Continentals. Fitment, we are spaced one inch in the rear, 18 by 8.5 all the way around because we have all wheel drive. Super hype about these lugs. Um, see, before you can see where paint kind of gets chipped away from taking with tools uh, the lug nuts off, but these have actually the turning point inside of them. So that's gonna prevent this from getting further damage. I will never have wheels without these kinds of lugs on them, ever. Of course, we had to throw the standard black tip on here. I didn't want it being exposed. They came with nothing on them. And I just happened to have a few of these. These are brand new, put them on. I just put this on, just thought it might make it look a little bit cleaner than no plate frame. We've got the HKS high power. It's looking clean. Triple A guy just called me. He said he's gonna be here in about 10, 15 minutes. So 
see you guys soon. Good and bad news. So bad news first because I like good news. You know, that's ended on a good note. Well, the dude that came out here to remove my stripped lug nut didn't have a lug remover. I don't know why you would not bring, I don't know. But he arrives and the fucker has the same tools that I have. I look at him and I'm like, where's your stripped lug remover? And he's like, don't have one. I didn't know those existed till yesterday. I'm like, why would you do a job for a stripped lug if you don't have a stripped lug remover? But I don't know. So we got a new company coming out. Um, somebody that I've used before because I've had the same fucking problem because infinity lugs suck balls. Shout out this dude right here. He came through. He didn't have the tools either, but he made it happen, which just speaks volumes on the other dude. This is where we're at right now. Last wheel. We need to fix the, uh, the uh, ride height real quick. Definitely want to make it lower. Um, we have to take this about inch to inch and a half out right here to where it starts rusting up there because fucking shitty ass coilovers. But we got them for free because sponsor part. It's, I mean, I, honestly, I wouldn't recommend these coils, but I do got to shout them out for giving them to me for the free max speeding rods. They do work. They lower your car. It's fun as fuck and definitely worth the 250 bucks. They gave them to me for the free, that's why they're on my car. And I mean, if that's what it takes for me to say that shit, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it 100% honest with you guys. They are not the highest quality coils, but they are not horrible. They're shitty as fuck, but they fucking work. If that makes any sense. One day we'll have BC racing coils on this G, I promise. So we're gonna adjust them about, drop them to about right here. That sounds good to me. Oh. Speaking of the fucking devil, as I'm speaking of this coil, something has, um, excuse me, those aren't supposed to be doing that, sir. We're gonna go ahead and tighten these up because that was suspect as fuck. That fits, it's this side. Um, we're gonna go ahead and tighten those bolts up there. I think it's because I don't have any weight on the car right now. That's the only reason the spring is doing that. And since I'm not tracking the G, that's not really a bad thing. Um, so this loose spring, usually a support spring would be um, paired with it on top because you know, you need tension or else you can have things like the spring slipping off balance and things like that O-ring up there going off like it's doing right now. Um, those are bad. However, as long as, check this, as long as when you have weight on the car and you're not doing too much performance shit for the car, like going around a track at 70, 80 miles per hour, then you should be fine. Cause look, uh, there we go. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but it is aligned correctly. We have a little bit of weight on the car. See, this is the thing about that. That can only affect your driving if your car has no weight for a moment on this wheel, which my car is not gonna be cornering so fast around a corner that it lifts weight all the way off this tire and makes this go limp and then off balanced. It's still not good to have, but it's perfectly fine to be daily driving a spring that's loose like that. Now, if you plan to keep springs that are potentially loose like this, I would recommend getting an, a brother spring or a smaller spring just to keep the tension so that the ring doesn't slip around up top. That's the only thing that could potentially harm your vehicle. But anyways, let's get back to doing this. All right, so we got everything tightened up. It's good, it's good, it's solid. It, uh, it's looking good. Right, so we've got the spacer on, we've got the coil good, and it's time to test fit this. I think the fitment's gonna be good on it. This is quite the extended clip. And that means that Casey has pulled up. Squad, yeah. <laughs> Hello, sway boy. I 
can't move the car. You're a little shaky. <laughs> Alright, so um that's the car. There's no room under the car. We're dragging the fucking frame. And there's the Is that the transmission down here? Probably. Transmission's on the ground. We got the transmission on the ground. It's not good. We're gonna raise that shit up. <laughs> It's not good. <laughs> uh, the fitment's awesome, but we wouldn't even be able to turn these wheels. Just gotta raise it up. Yeah, we can't really. <laughs> it doesn't leave the parking spot. She's just a looker. She doesn't, she doesn't do much. All right, shit. Cause we dropped it the maximum of five and a half inches and won't even fucking steer in the front. But yeah, we're gonna raise it, so. We just did all that work for nothing, yay. We'll tune back in in a minute. Let's fuck outside, so I took my shirt off. Don't mind me. You know I'm cute as shit. I have to take all of the wheels off and reconfigure all of the coils. I do not want to do this, but I'm just telling myself to suck it up and fucking do it. All right, so I brought myself to doing it, and uh, wheels off. Got the coil, coil sturdy now. It was bouncing around a little bit. I just went around it and adjusted it. Um, it's a little bit higher off the ground, as you can see, but it's also on the fucking jack still. So, and that's still like what I would probably want clearance wise. So like, it's pretty fucked how low it was, to be honest. I went ahead and I raised it about an inch. I'm hoping that'll be good. Honestly, I think I might need to raise it a little bit more, but we'll find out, I guess. All right, let's see how the test fit goes. We're gonna... Oh, we're gonna lower her. But it's a process because it's so low that we can't even get this jack out once it's... It's a process. It's too much to explain. I'll show you in a second. All right, so it's not as low as I'd like it to be, but it's perfect for what I need it to be. So um, we're, we're the tiniest bit off the ground. We're about an inch off the ground. Um, it's about a four inch drop still. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the back, the five inch drop. Just rock it like this in the front. Oh my god, I got vertigo. I stood up way too fucking fast. Hold up. Yo, if you're from Virginia or your state has these, fucking, ugh, they're invasive as hell. They're called lantern flies. Fuck those things. They're always all over your car and they're annoying as fuck. Guys, I think I'm going to take my Gore Club banner down and the anime stickers off today. <sighs> I know, it's a big decision. Pretty much just decided that it needs a new Gore Club banner, one that looks a little bit better. A full banner, one with a background. You know, I'm actually not unhappy at all with this fitment. Plus, it's going to sink down the tiniest bit. But now we can actually drive this shit, so let's do the other side. Huh. Shout out my pops. He got me these tools. He got me all my tools, man. Shout out my pops. I use these tools almost every day. And not everybody has the pops to do that. I just want to take a second to be grateful. Shout him out. Appreciate him. Let's get this fucking bolt off, right? Or screw out. I just realized I was actually accidentally tightening it, but we got it. Side skirts are gonna come off now. All right, guys, so we fucking finally got it done. Casey came through and helped me do this shit, and long ass fucking day, but the G looks sexy. Woo! Yeah, this is how she's sitting right now. And look, this is the fucking uh, ground clearance now. We've got about an inch. Casey, was this shit not literally sitting on the cement earlier? You can see the marks. All that. All this is from the G. All this? Oh, oh bro. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's funny as shit. Oh, shit. Hold up. Bro, what are we watching, Casey? Oh. <laughs> well, let's take the bumper. <laughs> Look at the, like, what does it take for this one to happen? Don't lie, all this is a G, don't even lie. Okay, <laughs> don't come for me like that. I think all of these are the G, though, because this is my spot that I go over, but yeah. this hey, might have been...